checked. Don't forget to make that doctor appointment for your children as they head back to school. Joining me is Dr. Parker Waller, family medicine physician at the Meritor West Clinic, Washington Clinic. And he's here to tell us about some of the things that you should cover at your child's visit with their primary care physician. Dr. Waller, thank you so much for joining us this morning. You know, we were just talking about vaccinations, not only for kids, but for adults on Monday, especially whooping cough and, uh, and tetanus, because I got the shot where it's all combined into one because parents can pass it on to their babies right. too. Right, well, uh, the tetanus shot now includes a pertussis vaccination as well. So many people have had a tetanus shot in the past or even within 10 years may be eligible for a Tdaf or a tetanus and pertussis booster, which, which will protect you. Which is whooping you. cough. Yes. Pertussis yes. is whooping cough. Okay, so what are some of the first things parents should make sure to have covered at their primary care physician? Vaccinations? Yes, uh, there are three major things we recommend you ask your physician about. One is being up to date on your vaccinations. There are two busy times for vaccination. One is entering uh, kindergarten or grade school. The second, entering middle school or junior high school. Uh, secondly, there are new recommendations for cholesterol screening. Uh, USPTF recommends we screen all children now for high cholesterol to identify heart disease at an early age. Real? Now that's something new. That I don't remember new. ever having that when I was younger. We used to screen only children with a family history of heart disease. Unfortunately, that might not be evident for young children. Now the goal is universal screening to identify children most at risk of early heart disease. And that's between the ages of 9 uh, and 11? 9 to 11. And then again? Uh, Again, around 17 to 19, at least twice. Okay, at least twice. And how do you do that? Is that just through a blood it's draw? It's a blood test, yes. Okay, I think that's pretty important too. Uh, a last new recommendation is screening for depression. Uh, some people might say it's just your teenage acting like a teenager. Right. Uh, unfortunately, it might also be a medical condition. Uh, depression is treatable, certainly after age 12 it is, and the new recommendations are also to screen for depression beginning at age 12. And doctor, how do you screen for something like depression in a child? Well, it's definitely uh, a conversation with a physician, with or without the parents present. Uh, there are some questionnaires and instruments, mm -hmm. but uh, it's just bringing up the question is the most important thing. Now, what about going back to the first point we were talking about vaccinations? What if parents are not sure and didn't keep a card thinking, uh oh, is my child up to date on their vaccinations? Can you get them on some kind of a catch up schedule or kind of help them with that process? Yes. I mean, there, there are a lot of vaccinations we were going over on Monday to keep in mind for your child. Yeah, it's a pretty long list. Uh, there are definitely catch up schedules that are established. Also, um, you can always receive boosters for most vaccinations, even if you're late they can still be done. Uh, sometimes there are minimal intervals between uh, multiple vaccinations, but in general, you can always be vaccinated to be caught up to date. Very important. So three big things then, when you see your doctor this fall, vaccinations, ask for that cholesterol test and screen for depression. Dr. Waller, thank you so much for your advice and bringing it here to all of our viewers. Appreciate it. Thank Have you, a Christine. good back to school season. <laughs> I'm you. sure your office is very busy with those appointments. We're expecting a rush. Thanks all so much. right. Thank you so much.